hi welcome to our youtube channel on jcb arrow labs so in this video we are going to learn about making a file using microcontroller circuit and in this case we will be using a esp32 for doing that furthermore we also do freelance projects based on embedded system python matlab control system etc so if you have any such requirement then you can either contact us at www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org so let's start with the circuit part first so this is the general block diagram of the circuit which we are going to use so here we have our ESP32 and uh, ESP32 pin number 4 is connected to the relay circuit and the VCC and ground we have also provided from the ESP32 now uh, on the secondary side of the relays uh, at which the connections are made one point is connected to the battery terminal and the second point is connected to the nichrome wire so here nichrome wire is the key component through which we will be uh, igniting a fire and then the, uh, they will fire and the second part of the nichrome wire is further connected to the relay so when the relay is off this particular point is connected to pin number 5 and this point is pin number 3 so there is no direct connection between so this will remain off the circuit will remain off no current will flow through it as soon as we send a command from microcontroller uh, this relay will turn on and this switch will connect to the pin number 5 and the connection will be made between battery and the nichrome wire and the current will start flowing through it and here we will be using our phone or our app on a phone through which we will be sending our bluetooth command to our ESP32 okay so this is a basic general diagram uh, uh, we have our uh, so here we have our ESP32 and here we are using this relay board and it is connected this relay is connected through this uh, nichrome wire and then the second point is connected to the battery and then positive terminal A of the battery is connected to the another point of the relay and the power supply and ground of this uh, relay to this relay we have provided it from this ESP32 board so that is the very basic circuit now let's minimize it okay so here we have added we'll go line by line first of all we have added our bluetooth serial library there and then uh, with this line we have created a serial bt object so these two uh, lines are mandatory to put in the code and as you are well aware about the uh, serial communication programming you know uh, we just need to initialize the serial communication by writing this serial dot begin okay similarly we need to start bluetooth by writing serial bt dot begin and the name which we want to show uh, on the esp32 device or uh, which uh, the bluetooth name which we want to show then we are simply writing a serial print command to bluetooth and then because our nichrome wire relay is connected to pin 4 so we are setting pin 4 as output pin and then uh, this relay actually turns off by sending a high signal to it so uh, this line is written in order to make sure that at the starting as soon as uh, circuit comes into the reset mode uh, the relay remains off okay then is the void loop command so here we are constantly checking whether there is any data is available on the serial bt or not so as soon as there is a data uh, we send a command to it uh, that particular string we read and stop that command into cmd and then we remove this backslash and an enter character by using this dot trim command and we are writing uh, back that command to the serial monitor and the bluetooth terminal as well in order just for the sake of the information for the user and then we are sending like if command is fire then it will start the it will turn on the relay by setting the pin number 4 as row low and it will uh, make uh, the relay on for 4 seconds and then it will turn it off so why we are doing this because we don't want to, uh, if we keep uh, this relay on continuously so the this nichrome wire will keep draining the current from the battery source so it will be a red hot so this uh, within this 4 seconds this nichrome wire will be hot enough to light a fire 
okay and in order to make it more appropriate we have put a match stick in between this nichrome wire so that uh, it doesn't uh, so that uh, it can help uh, further in turning on the fire okay on port 3 so now download the code uh, okay so our uh, program has been uploaded to this uh, ESP32 microcontroller and uploaded into the ESP32. Now we will open our serial monitor. Now we will open our app, this Bluetooth terminal, and here we will connect to the devices. So ESP32 is visible here. We will select on it and it will say connected. So let's test with the high command first, sending the high will send some normal data so according to our code this high will go to the serial monitor and revert back to the bluetooth as well so we got high so now we will turn on the fire so in order to burn uh, start the fire we need to send a command fire so one two three so fire goes signal goes to it Alley. turned on and then we have seen a fire now relay has been turned off so this is a very basic uh, demo of starting a fire with the help of a microcontroller circuit. Okay, and uh, we in our next video we are planning to make a bigger fire with the help of the similar circuit uh, using ESP32 and uh, my uh, using ESP32 with the help of the Bluetooth connection. So I hope you have learned uh, a lot uh, about making a fire. Uh, with the help of microcontroller circuit in this video so that's it thank you